What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back with Black Belt Steve, the Leg Locker Supreme. So right here, we're gonna slap bump and we're going to start establishing our grip. So I'm gonna back away and I'm going to get close and I'm gonna bring him close to me because I wanted to go for a Taitoshi right there, but he sat to uh, the single leg X position and starts to try to elevate my legs and I'm doing a very good job of trying to deny him that position. So right here, he's going to elevate me one more time and I'm going to slow it down because I'm doing kind of a complicated series of moves right here. So I'm gonna put my weight into my hands and he's going to get the full X. I'm going to take my left hand and stop one hook and back step over the other hook and uh, square up with him right here and then I'm going to uh, step through pass and start to establish my passing game now I didn't really need to do that type of back step I could have brought my leg to my chest and passed that way but I was already had my weight in my hands and I was already you know almost clear of the leg so I just decided to push it a little bit more uh, in hindsight I probably could have just brought the leg to my chest and uh, passed it that way so right here we're in a half guard position and uh, one of the things I'm not doing is and I'm not putting a lot of pressure on his chin but I was able to uh, pass the leg by holding that pant leg and, and getting my leg out. So right here, I've tried to back step and he's going to get me into a um, deep half position right here. And if you remember from the final San Diego finals, this is one of the positions where I struggled to pass. So right here, I'm going to hook the arm and bring my legs together and start to try to uh, pass his half guard position right here. So I'm gonna sit my hips uh, to one side and he's going to do a good job of grabbing my elbow and stopping me from getting uh, the underhook that I want. So I give, I let him have kind of the underhook position and I'm grabbing the pant legs and I'm going to sit to my hip, which you can't really see from this angle. I'm going to start to pull my leg out. As you can see, it's going to start to come out and I use that uh, grip on his pants to stop him from turning into me so I can finish the pass position um, as you can see. So right here, I'm going to settle into side control on the other side of his body, grab the back of the head, and uh, start feeding out the lapel on the other side. Like I said, the, the feeding out the lapel is just something I just naturally do. It's part of my game. Anytime I'm in side control or anytime I'm starting to set up side control, I pass the lapel uh, behind the head or try to trap the arm. So uh, what you're going to see here is that I'm gonna grab the pant leg and I'm gonna come up to a knee on belly position pass the hand over and start setting up a bravo choke. So right here, I'm trying to find that extra material behind his neck. Uh, Steve has a very, very good chin. He doesn't tap very often to chokes. So I'm going to decide to uh, solidify the mount position, get my points at least. And I bring my leg up and he's going to start to try to underhook it, but I realize that I should just stay in the mount position. And then I just let it go because I, I realized I wasn't going to get that position. So right here, I try to back step to the other side because I still want to work passing. I don't really want to work uh, the mount uh, submissions and positions from there. So right here, he's going to get me um, in like a half guard position right here. He's got one butterfly hook in and he's starting to elevate me once again. I'm just going to back step my legs like I've been doing uh, throughout the video and uh, clear those legs because he wants to elevate me in single leg X and uh, start setting up the inside Senkaku and uh, 411 position and start to... Um, um, basically set up the leg locks like he usually does in the other videos. So right here, as you can see, I was able to kind of force his knees one way and pass the other way. Um, I've been watching a lot of uh, John Danaher's open, uh, passing the open guard, and he's basically what he says is like, if, you, if the opponent's knees are facing one way, you should be passing the other way. Try to get their knees and their toes not facing the direction you're in. So as you can see, he's going to kind of get me in the half guard position. And we're gonna do a little bit of leg uh, pummeling here once again. So he's doing a very good job because this is the position that he wants. So as you can see, uh, when he finally gets into the position that he wants, he's going to fight tooth and nail to keep uh, my arm locked down. And as you can see with his feet, he's going to start to try to uh, basically lock down my legs and start setting up uh, for a leg lock uh, position. So his uh, left leg is going to go inside the crevice right here. And I'm going to realize that I'm going to just pummel my legs or pummel sorry not pummel uh, pummel my legs outside of the position that he wants so he can't set up any leg lock positions so I'm gonna grab the outside of the pant leg and this is a better angle of the of the half guard pass that I like to do um, where I just kind of clear my knee line and get my foot out and use that pant grip that I have to stop him from turning into me so right here he's going to use the stiff arm escape that you learn uh, from pretty much white belt all the way up to get out of the side control position and I'm going to kind of walk around the guard right here and and start to put my head and my pressure down and uh, solidify the side control position here. So right here, I'm just kind of clearing the legs. I try to get a knee on belly position and step over into the mount, but he's going to hook the leg and uh, kind of get me into um, a single leg X position, but I kind of back 
sip that leg out and uh, now I'm going to start really putting my pressure down my weight down and uh, solidify the position that I have here so I'm trying to go for the underhook I'm not able to do so but I'm able to see an opening to get into the mount position and uh, right here I'm going to start going for a cross collar choke so I bring my hand to the other side uh, bring my head down try to uh, get the cross collar choke and Steve is going to use that to get me into the uh, close guard position here um, but I like playing from close guard so I didn't really see uh, any problems with um, getting rolled over so he's going to bring us to the center of the mat we're going to slap bump and we're going to keep going so now I'm going to start attacking the other arm I usually like to favor um, their right arm because I'm kind of right-handed um, and I decided to start attacking the other arm and just, you know, I try to switch up my close guard game. So right here, he's going to open up the guard. I'm going to shoulder walk away. And I'm going to turn into him to stop him from uh, uh, solidifying any past positions uh, that he was thinking about doing. And right here, I'm going to kind of step my legs back, keep a nice distance away, not really let him grab grips. So I'm going to force his legs uh, one way and start walking around to the other way. Like I said, with the John Denaher uh, close, not close guard, uh, the uh, open guard um, instructional point the knees the opposite direction. So right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk my hips into the crevice that I'm creating, and I'm going to try to get into a mount position. So right here, um, slow it down. I'm going to scoop the legs and get over into the mount position, clear my arm, and uh, solidify the mount position right there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the roll. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the roll featuring Black Belt Steve. Now, uh, I've rolled a few times with Steve on the channel, and I know that he's got a very dynamic leg lock game. So all I try to do, uh, some of the takeaways is that all I try to do is clear those legs, keep my weight in my hands, and keep my feet nice and light so I can uh, leg pummel uh, and get out of these single leg X elevation positions. And uh, I was just trying to work on, focus on passing. Uh, this was before the San Diego uh, competition. So I was just kind of working on passing, getting my timing right, getting my um, situational work awareness right uh, just flowing through different positions and seeing where I could pass and where I could uh, be better so ladies and gentlemen that is the end of the video for today I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you on the next one peace